This video will show you three ways to create a sales order in Zen 7. One, go to the administration screen of the quote and convert or copy a quote into a sales order. Two, go to the CRM section, the customer screen, and click new sales order from the customer screen. And then three, go directly to the sales order screen, begin with a blank sales order, and start from there. Let's look at those three ways. So the first way, Go to the list of quotes, find the quotes you want to convert, click on the gear icon. Up in the top left hand corner under actions, click copy to sales order or convert to sales order. If we click copy to sales order, that will leave the quote in your history and create a new sales order. If we click convert to sales order, that will eliminate your quote from history and change it into a sales order. I'm going to click convert to sales order. And here it advances us to the sales order screen with, if we scroll down, we'll see everything is already filled out because it came from the quote. Okay, so let's look at the other way to create a sales order. Go to the CRM section and select the customer you want to create a sales order for. You can also search the customer and search by contact type. You can also search customers that have been quoted. So I'll select this customer here. And one advantage of coming to this screen first is you can add notes of your discussion with the prospect or customer. So that's nice. And also below, we have a list of orders that this customer previously did, if we want to reference that at all. Then here's the button that I want to show you, the new sales order button from the customer screen. This auto-populates the customer on the sales order screen, and then we can get started by adding our parts that we want to sell. Anchor, there's a couple to choose from. We'll put in the quantity. Hit enter, that'll advance to the next line. I'm gonna select that, hit enter, mouse click, change the quantity, hit enter, and then we can double check our pricing over here on the right hand side, and we have our totals, and there's a lot more we can fill out that I can dive into further on another video. But to finalize our sales order, we want to approve, and email and email the sales order to the customer if you'd like to see a link of what this looks like that's the attachment that we're going to send them and then of course finally the third way to create a sales order is to go to the shopping cart icon select new sales order and then begin typing in your customer name there and finish filling out the sales order so I hope this was helpful. Now you try it. Go ahead and log into Sin7 and create a sales order in those three different ways.